Are we filming? Are we live? We are. We're so excited. We're at, we're here. Number 14. With our special guest. Tom Walker. Welcome to the Orange Welcome, welcome to the Orange You can't see it. You can't see it. There's the orange right there. So, we're so glad to have him because we, we, we're, we made it a point to have like different roles in this industry that we like to call ourselves in. And we mix it up. We mix it up. We like to mix it up. I am from Columbia, South Carolina originally. Woo! I was born there and lived there for six years and then I moved to several different places because my stepdad was in the military and then... Oh, so you're an you're army leader. Don't they say army, right? Military, yeah. military. But I try, to, I try to stay away from... <laughs> what do they say brat, though? That's not stereotypical. Yeah, I used to say, like, I'm an army, army brat or a military brat, but I just don't like to say that because it's kind of like, why would I say that? I think they say that at this point. In the army, you get all that money. You get to move wherever. wherever what money? <laughs> okay. Well, he not now. He now you're single, maybe. Yeah. He knows this is the true now story. Why did you move to New York City? Well, like I just, I, I wanted to move to New York City because there is more opportunity here than elsewhere, and like I, everybody tries to keep me in Florida, but I really wanted to move to New York City. <laughs> and my friend Brandon and a few other people inspired me to come. I, I said I didn't want to come unless I knew somebody. <laughs> First I started off doing video. I was majoring in broadcasting at a private school in Florida. And then... You could have been shooting this! Well... After doing broadcasting I would slip through fashion magazines and you know, see the ads and the editorials, and I really wanted to do it, so I just got a camera, and I started off with my Nikon D80, and then I moved from there, and then been shooting since... Ever since. Ever since. You upgrade with all the lens, and then you got the flash, <laughs> and then you'll have like an assistant who runs and acts yeah. and information. Oh, I and wish. Stuff. I yeah. If you get an assistant, her name has to be Ellen. 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 Emily. Emily. Or Lisa. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is, we have to scream it too. Like, Ellen, where's the damn blend? Ellen! <laughs> what do you feel is like the difference between a real photographer and a fake photographer? Well, not fake, but like people who call them photographers. Yeah, that's. Because it's very complicated art. I mean, it's me. I just worked with um, a really good photographer and he was shooting the film. And he was telling me that he has to remember like the numbers of like the light of like certain like areas of like it's pretty intense. I think the industry will weed you out eventually. Yeah. Like you have especially to have the passion. passion. Yeah, you have to have the passion. Like especially from in New York. Like, especially if your work think. doesn't if your work doesn't speak what you're saying that it should speak, yeah. you'll definitely be cut into different musicals and professions. Yeah, you definitely have to have your own vision and stand for what you believe in as far as your artistic viewpoint. Stay and strong, talk to Stay, stay strong. strong. The hardest part for me personally is my own inner critique. <laughs> Which is good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, um, and... Yeah. 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 <laughs> No editing. It's just blurry. Oh, I'm done here. This is what I did. It's just like, this is blurry. I can't even see the photo. Where's the person in the Where's the <laughs> This is a black. This is just like, black. It could be like something where like you, a glimpse of light messes it up a bit, but it creates exactly. something so beautiful, and then you're like, oh. Yeah, exactly. I meant to do that. But I think that my, I have my own inner critique that is so hard that I'm like shy to even show my work. I'm like, which is good. Like, is really good. I'm like, no, I don't want it. everybody. And then like, what everybody else's response to me, if it's good, it, you know, which it usually is, like it has been so far, that that kind of balances my bad opinion <laughs> of my work. Because then it's like um, positive reinforcement. Yeah, Will Smith is a good inspiration. Um, Will. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because. 
like I've seen some of his videos on YouTube talking about like his passion for his work and he's a motivational speaker and I don't know why he doesn't act as such. Yeah, as like, such. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so like that that really inspires me, you know, looking at somebody that's so passionate with their work. Mm -hmm. And then also Oprah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, that's, Oprah, of I course. try to pick things that are not like really, really yeah, cliche, but whatever. <laughs> Empress Oprah. Oprah is very inspirational. Um, I think that she she's definitely passionate at what she does, mm -hmm. and she what she teaches is to follow. The own network is here, so own network. Yes. We still have oh, her. Network. Yes. She's still there. Which I'm still trying to get. Own meaning I, <laughs> I own the world. <laughs> the third person is my mother. Um, I think that she inspired me just because it's my mom. Yeah. She raised me and she put a lot of sacrifice into me and a lot of love. I love New York a lot. I just want to like be able to travel and then when I come back to New York, I can appreciate a little bit more mm -hmm. than just be like, I feel like it's almost like a bubble. <laughs> A lot of photographers kind of limit their, their, their I guess, their ability to yeah. just photography. No, like, I mean, it, so there's people who really like photography, and they, that's just their passion, they just want to do photography, and that's, you know, that's fine. But I think at a certain point I have to, like, evolve and, and do more and expand outside of that. I definitely want to be in charge, you know, because this whole working for other people thing is kind of like it's not the move, it's not fun. Um, feel free to check out Sean's work. He's brilliant and he's gonna be amazing. And thank you guys for watching.